Patel hosted their third annual International Women's Day Conference this morning in Belize City. Our Bodies, Ourselves, the Age of Consent Dilemma in Belize was the theme for the event. We wanted really to begin the discussion of the age of consent, how our cultural norms, our traditions, our beliefs influence our decision as it relates to sexual and reproductive health and, you know, sexual intercourse on a whole. So it's a very complex issue and we wanted to start the dialogue to see how it affects women and men, of course, um, in Belize. Petal's Ruby Reyes says the topic is timely and important because women's sexuality is still largely repressed in Belize. The policing of women's bodies is a common but damaging and unjust practice. As we grow older, we can make informed decisions as it relates to our sexuality and our sexual health. Because we, it, I mean, sexuality and sex is taboo in Belize. And so we wanted to unravel that, looking at how different ethnic groups themselves speak about sexual health, sexuality, you know, sexual intercourse. So how do your cultural beliefs and your cultural norms influence the decisions that you make as a sexual being, as a woman? Panelist Florence Golson says that to shift that culture, she started with herself, using wellness and mindfulness practices to unlearn some of these harmful messages, as well as ensuring that the boys and men in her circle are also held accountable. I started with myself in nourishing myself in, in learning to accept myself, mistakes, flaws, as well as my achievements. And then from there, through my mindfulness, realizing all the ways that I had been shaming other women and girls and participating in it. In, and it comes out in very subtle ways in, in um, the way you look, you look at a girl or a woman up and down, um, you, we, the way we alienate, we won't talk to that, per, to that woman or girl, the way we judge her um, if she seems too friendly or if she's not friendly enough. So we do this as well. Um, and, then, and then we also allow the men and boys in our lives to do it. When I look around in my spaces, I, f I, I identify the men that have the same, the sa similar thought processes that I, as I do. And um, I expect those men to speak to other men because men won't listen to me. Men will listen to other men and boys will listen to men. So just as much as I place an expectation on myself for the ways that I will speak to girls and women, I place a high expectation on the men and boys in my life about how they will speak to other boys and men. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.